Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at Snaps Pro. As a computer book author, I take tons of screenshots. My books are filled with images of the entire screen or of an individual window. So what program do I use to take all these? Well, I use something called Snaps Pro. Let's take a look. So once I have Snaps Pro running, I can use the keyboard shortcut which is customizable. It's Command Shift 3 by default and it will bring up the Snaps Pro window here and I can choose whether to capture the entire screen, objects in the screen, a specific selection, or a video. Let's try objects. And here I can now choose between different windows that are on the screen. It recognizes all sorts of different objects, even sub-objects sometimes in various programs. So it's very easy to select exactly what I want. I can also do some different options here like what file type to save it to, scale it, whether I want the cursor visible or not for instance. And I can just double click on the area I want and it takes the shot and will stick it in the default folder. If instead I wanted to capture a selection it will give me a selected area and I could drag it around and resize it very easily. And you can see it even brings up this little window here where I can see every pixel and decide exactly where I want the capture edges to be. And I can also do various selections here like do a fixed size or aspect ratio for instance. Now if I want to do a movie then I can select several different things. For instance uh, I can select the area, fixed size, aspect ratio, and I can also select to have a fixed camera or follow the cursor or do a smooth pan. So for instance a smooth pan here if I capture it you can see how there's a box there that's moving around with my cursor and this is what's being captured right now and it's smoothed a little bit at, so it's not so jerky as I move the cursor around. When I'm done I just use the keyboard shortcut again and it gives me all sorts of different options here. I selected not to have the audio track recorded. I could have recorded both an audio track from the Mac and also the input from the microphone. And here I can now save it and select a variety of different QuickTime settings for exactly how to save this video. So there are a ton of different preferences you can set as well. Uh, you can set them right here in preferences and say change things about each file type. Like I can make PNGs have a specific file creator. I can uh, work on the file naming structure here and change different things about whether or not that extra little window appears, uh, all sorts of stuff like that. In addition, when I make selections, like for instance when I make a movie selection, I have lots of options here like here's whether or not uh, audio is included, uh, the frame rate to include things at, and so on. And also down at the bottom in the main window when it comes up I can select where the screenshots go to. I can have them go to the clipboard for instance uh, or I can have them instantly go to mail or I can set it to specific folders uh, whether or not it opens after saving, whether or not I get to choose a file name and whether or not I get to take another screenshot right away or Snaps goes away as soon as that one shot is taken. So for me Snaps Pro is kind of the professional option. Yeah I can use the built-in OS X screen capture stuff and I can also use cheap or even free screen capture programs but this gives me a lot of control and it also works really well. It even works in situations where others fail like for instance when you're playing DVDs on the screen. One thing about Snaps Pro though it's expensive. It's $69 and when you already have built in screen capture ability and some free alternatives it's hard to justify that price unless you're a professional or you do a lot of screenshots and you need something that will save you time and get you really good results. So check it out if you like. Until next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.